To say Excel is a sell-off on Monday was harsh is perhaps even an understatement. Hi again, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm not feeling the best right now. I've caught a certain virus, which I will not mention the name on here because there's a potential censorship uh, ramifications of doing such. But anyway, we're here to talk about another thing which is getting me down, that being Excel and Technologies, ticker symbol XELA. So on Monday, the company initiated its 200 for one reverse stock split. And the that led to the stock having a 40% sell-off on the day. So the stock price closed on Monday at $3.08 per share, which is $1.92 uh, lower than its initial post split value, which was $5 based on the closing price that the stock had on Friday of two and a half cents per share. That's worth keeping in mind that on Friday when they made the announcement that there was about a 20% sell-off in the stock. So overall, we've lost a lot of value in the company in the last two trading sessions. Uh, Monday sell-off did continue into the aftermarket and that selling momentum does continue in the pre-market at the moment, it seems, with the stock looking like heading down a further seven or eight cents per share. Uh, this recent sell-off has brought the market cap to being back below $20 million, uh, which it has been above since it was came out that the company had undertaken uh, a significant equity raising in the Q1, which put it back up to about a $50 million uh, valuation in terms of market cap, and that market cap was still at over $40 million early last week. Now, why it's hurting me is obviously if you've been following my updates, I put a $3,000 position in the stock earlier this year. When it was around $0.07 cents per share. I picked up about 42,000 shares. Um, now, the number of shares I have outstanding, I think it's about 211 now. That was what I I have to check back on my app, but I believe it was 211. And the value of it is $650. So you want to talk about testing resolve, this one's testing it. Um, obviously, I got into the stock because I thought, you know, there's there were longer term plans to sell off assets, uh, which was going to be the finances for which were going to be used to undertake a um, stock buyback. And given how small the company's market cap was, that would have a quite a strong um, effect on rebounding the stock value. So there's still talks of asset sales going on based on last week's earnings call, but um, you know this is really testing the resolve now uh, after seeing so much of what I invested wiped out. Although you know I was kind of somewhat prepared for this. This is, I guess, the hard part which I was waiting for. Um, as the stock was getting so low, I knew that some action was going to have to happen. Uh, you could perhaps make the argument perhaps now would have been a better time to put my investment in, but. You know, when I did it back in, I think it was February, I wasn't expecting a 200 for one reverse stock split or maybe something a bit less, but, you know, such is life. Uh, anyway, my plan is to still hold the position. This is a bit of an experiment to see if my theory is going to, you know, come and be profitable. But, you know, that's why what we say on here is not investing in advice because, you know, I've gone from about $3,000 to about $650 uh, in this stock alone. So it's, you know, it's money I, I, I said I was willing to, to gamble or lose on this, and that's why I never say anything on his investing advice. Anyway, um, another important thing that's worth keeping in mind now is that we've done one day, we now need to do nine more days where the stock value can stay above $1 per share, so Excel can regain uh, NASDAQ listing requir requirements uh, or meet those requirements again. Um, they have to spend 10 consecutive sessions above the $1 mark. So with the stock currently at $3.08, it does have a bit of a buffer at the moment. Uh, another company that I've been following recently that did a reverse stock split a few days ago, oh, a few, about eight sessions before Excel, it was Mullen uh, Automotive, and they are, you know, they, their stock split only brought their stock price up to about $1.50 per share. Um, and they, as of when Wednesday comes around, if they are still above the $1 mark, they will, um, you know, regain that listing compliance. So Excel Technologies definitely has, at least price-wise, a bigger buffer to navigate, uh, sorry, to help it navigate this, but, you know, there's a lot more bearish sentiment, I think, around the company. Um, now, one thing that does go in the company's favour, although you might not have thought so, given what happened yesterday, is that there's now technically only just over 6 million shares available outstanding in Excel Technologies. Uh, 
which will definitely or theoretically will lower the level of volatility in the stock, um, especially given that about 75% of these stocks are owned by the recent, but I suppose returning institutional investor of B. Riley Capital, uh, who bought the majority of shares that were sold during Q1 by the company. And I suppose given this information about like how strong the institutional uh, holding in the company is at the moment, it could mean that we might be in for a little bit of a correction come Tuesday in the stock, but you know I wouldn't hold my breath on this one. Uh, with Excel Technologies, you never really know what's going to happen, except that you know over time it tends to go down. I think I saw one person comment in a video uh, last week that the only good thing about holding Excel Technologies these days is it teaches you a lesson about like what not to put your money into, uh, which is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I'll leave this video updated at that, I suppose. Um, let me know your thoughts on Excel right now. Do you think we're going to be able to navigate the nine more days to regain NASDAQ listing um, requirements? Or, you know, what, what's, what are your out, what's your outlook for the company? Just share it in the comments below. Um, hopefully, the stock can kind of bounce back a little bit. But, you know, it's obviously a painful one to hold. Don't, it's a hard one to be a bag holder on. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Till next time, everyone. May the market's trade in your favour. Cheers.